Hello, and welcome to another video blog post from CMSQuickStart.com. Today, we're going to take a look at Drupal's internal reporting system that tells you many things about what's going on on your site, uh, what users are doing, logging in, logging out, spam, visitors, uh, search results, a lot of cool stuff. I hope you'll enjoy it. There's a lot to it, and there's also contributed modules, which add to that, and we're going to cover a couple of those as well. Who are we? We are CMSQuickStart.com. Do check us out. We have many blog posts there. If you're seeing this video on YouTube, it's also linked to from the blog post, and there's a whole uh, contextual text portion of this blog. So if you want to enjoy that, it's there for you. And also at CMSQuickStart.com, just a quick note, uh, lots of really cool looking themes. You can purchase these themes. They are themes for sale. And they're not just pretty looking sites. They are functional with uh, views, carousels, slideshow type stuff, quick tabs, uh, most viewed content, recent content, etc. So uh, there are 20 or so of these available and they have uh, kind of niche markets uh, associated with some of them but that really is, it really is the turnkey approach to your next Drupal project. And who am I? I am Doug Van. Check me out at DougVan.com. I provide Drupal training and development, so there I am. And today we're talking about uh, many things, but uh, well, you know what, let's just go ahead and log into my site and do that. So the very first thing I want to show you is over in Site Building Modules, and this is of course the admin menu. If you're not using the admin menu, then you're clicking too much. You're wearing down your mouse. So here's my list of modules, and way down here towards the middle is uh, Core Optional. What is Core Optional? Core optional means that uh, these, these modules came with Drupal's core, and some of them were enabled by default, some of them were not, and you can turn them on and off. And uh, the one I'm looking for here is called Database Logging. You can see there it says, Logs and Records System Events to the Database. So that's the module I have turned on, and because I do, I have many cool things over here in the Reports tab. Now my Reports tab is a little bigger than maybe your Reports tab, because I have many things happening here. But uh, let's just take a quick tour of this from the top to the bottom. Recent log entries. Okay, that's very simple. Gives you a, a rather exhaustive list of all the many things that have happened. Uh, I just logged in, so you saw that happen. So that was moments ago I logged in. And I, I, I logged out before that. And here's, uh, here's the Molum module. Molum, of course, is my uh, anti-spam application of choice. It defeats, uh, in my case, hundreds of spam comments a day and spam registrations and other websites, it defeats thousands of them a day. Now here's a page not found, and you would think that would be a bad thing, but no, this is a comment not found. Uh, occasionally a, a hand-typed comment that has a link to a, uh, oh, let's say an offshore pharmaceutical organization, uh, somebody will come in and do that by hand, and Mullum will not recognize it as spam. So among the hundreds and thousands of spam that they uh, defeat every day across all these sites, uh, this is the one that got through on mine, and that's that, that that's happened long ago. And someone's coming back to take a look at it. Some robot is saying, hey, is that comment still out there? Because the guy that put that there is going to get paid if the comment lives on. So they're just building up link building, if you will. So that's not good. So I ran cron here at, earlier in the day, and I've logged in and logged off a couple times today. Hey, we blocked some more spam there. Someone else. So a lot of, a lot of cool things. And uh, you can you can run a filter over here. Say, uh, you know, show me, show me access denied. And that's uh, that's important to know about. Show me uh, how many times have I run cron, and how many times are pages not found, and uh, you know what, what is Ubercart stored in here? You know what kind of updates have I run, and what 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 about users logging in and logging out and getting their passwords wrong? You can you can do that, and then of course severity you can filter by that as well. So you could spend quite a bit of time here, but the point is the recent log entries is kind of the exhaustive list of uh, of everything going on, and you can show uh, more granularly. You can show just the um, access denied errors or just the page not found errors, and th this will give you much more information. It'll tell you, you know, which which page the link was on that got them there. Um, if there's a page on your site that links internally to a, ba a bad page, you need to change your link. And if somebody else out there is linking to a bad page, you might you might correct them and say, hey, you know, you're sending people to my uh, about me page, but you've got the link wrong. So, or maybe you can make a URL to make it right. It's up to you. So. Back up to the top. Now, AdSense clicks, because I use the AdSense module to show you just wonderfully useful Google Ads while you're looking throughout my site. I have this option to take a look at how much traffic I'm getting. My Mullum statistics, of course, I have the Mullum module, as I mentioned, so I get access to my statistics. You know, how many hundreds or thousands of uh, spam attempts have been blocked today? Recent hits. Recent hits I find very entertaining. I can take a look at uh, what's been going on. So uh, somebody came, uh, an anonymous user, took a look at uh, creating browser-specific Drupal 
template pages. Now, I actually uh, had to look at that earlier in the week myself, um, but this is not me. I was not looking at it today, so that's kind of fun. Someone's checking it out. And someone came to my front page. Uh, someone came uh, from the Drupal Planet. No, no, no. This is this is the Drupal Planet itself, probably, pulling my Drupal Planet feed. Drupal Planet. Drupal.org slash planet is the aggregation of, uh, of approved Drupal blogs, and I am one of them. And there are some really good, really great, great posts on there. So recent hits is kind of a, a look into the window. Now, of course, this is not going to replace Google Analytics, but really for a quick, dirty, quick and dirty take a look at what's going on, you know, when you make a post in the afternoon and within an hour you want to see what happened, you can get in here and take a, take a look at it. It's very quick, very dirty. That's recent hits. Uh, search engine refers. This is a contributed module that I recently installed, and it shows me in a nice, neat way here what people were searching for that uh, brought them to my site. So in the event that a search engine brings someone to my site, this logs a special event for it and uh, gives me access to it. So uh, someone... <laughs> Someone Googled Lullabot Discount and came to my site. Uh, that page, I can tell you what that is. That is a uh, page where I review Lullabot videos. So that would make sense. Uh, someone searched for my name. Someone searched for Drupal Ninja videos. Uh, so that's, that's fascinating. And they got that link again to the Lullabot videos being reviewed. Now, this is inter interesting. This is a, a former client of mine, Duo Consulting. And um, so someone searched for them and got one of my pages. So, alrighty, that works. But uh, So it tells you what, uh, what page they, they went to. So that's kind of fun. And there's a lot more to that page. In addition to search engine refers, we have the top access denied, which I mentioned is a, a more specific version of the uh, recent log entries, as is the case with page not found. Uh, top refers is similar to the search engine refers. This one's better, so I don't use that one so much. Uh, top search phrases, also very similar. Um, top pages. So who's coming to what pages? You know, what are the hot pages at DougVan.com? I have not clicked on this for a while, so let's see what happens. Um, okay, so my front page. Now, this is in the past 16 weeks. Okay, there have been 28,000 hits to my uh, to my front page. So that's what that's 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 almost four months or three and a half months. So uh, 28,000 and three and a half months. Yeah, that's not bad traffic. And uh, my feed, of course, gets hit uh, almost as much. My feed gets hit uh, frequently by Drupal.org/planet. Um, and search 404. So when people don't get the proper page, they get thrown thrown into a search page. That's happened too many times. And uh, and again, that could be some of those uh, bots searching my pages. So that's not necessarily a, a uh, point to be made that I have a bad <laughs> structure to my site. Uh, my IRC post is getting lots of information there. So um, yeah, lots of good stuff. Moving right along. Top visitors. Top visitors is fascinating. Here's a list of IP addresses of people that have come to my site. And uh, if I know any of these to be bad apples, I can ban them, and uh, my site will no longer allow, for instance, that address. That's probably me. I don't know. I don't know my IP right now. But uh, these are all the IPs that have come around. Now, of course, as you, as you may know, you can take these IPs and pop them into a little uh, website somewhere, and it'll pull up a map and tell you where that IP is. But that sounds kind of tedious, doesn't it? And that's what I use. The visitor map, the visitor map module, actually the, it's called the visitor info module, gives me a map of all those IP addresses, the very same ones you just saw on that list. And look at this, uh, I got a lot of European activity over there. I have not been blogging about Copenhagen or anything, but uh, I've got some some busyness there. I'll kind of zoom in here and see. I've got uh, the Northwest. Uh, here's here's where I am, and uh, oh, over there is pretty busy. And uh, I'm heading down to Dallas this weekend, so I should, well, I'm going to be logging into my site from Dallas, so that'll happen. I was in L.A. a few weeks ago, so, yeah, that makes sense. So uh, the visitor info module there, uh, brought to you by Tim Wooten. And uh, access log settings, yeah, you can change the way things work. I'll let you play with that on your own time. Now, available updates and status report are very important. Uh, status report tells you if your GDL library is working correctly or image magic if you use that. It'll tell you if your file permissions on your um, file structure are uh, set properly to allow image cache to work and other things like MCE, tiny MCE, uh, image upload plugin, and things of that nature. And also the available updates, of course, extremely important to let you know if your core is up to date, if your contributed modules are up to date, if your themes are up to date. So you want to check those out uh, frequently. And I've been getting little red boxes on some of these pages, so I've got 
something out of date, and I can look that up later and take care of it. So that is all. That is uh, all we're going to do today for the big old reports section of your site. Lots of information, real time, immediately. Like I said, make a blog post at noon, and within one hour, come back and take a look at, at that. And uh, that's that's pretty cool stuff. And here's the visitor info module I was talking about: Drupal.org/project. Slash visitor info. Uh, grab that and just take a little map of uh, what all is going on on your website. Thank you for checking out the CMS Quick Start video blog talking about your report system that Drupal comes built in with. It's very cool, very nice, very useful. Do check out our other blogs at cmsquickstart.com and do check out our themes. Quite honestly, you know, three years ago we didn't have this. You know, if, if three years ago I could have gone and spent say five bucks or a hundred bucks and bought this pre built, you know, Slideshow, Quick Tabs, uh, WYSIWYG Editor. If I could have bought something like that and then deconstructed it, that would be cool by itself. But uh, you know, buying them and then taking out the sample text and selling it to someone, that would be cool too. So as, uh, it's, it's my personal phrase when I say it is, it is the turnkey solution to your next group project. So thank you so much and uh, send us some feedback and we'll be happy to respond to you. All. And do let us know what you want to see in the future because we'll put it together for you. Thank you so much and have a great day.